Hello everyone, my name is Samantha and I'm with Empower Multimedia. We post content regarding business, academia, and entrepreneurship. Remember, if you ever need help with starting or growing your business, click the link in the description for a free 15-minute consultation. Today we're going to be discussing how to use Canva for your small business. And just as a reminder, this video is strictly informational and not advice. Now let's get into it. Canva is a powerful, affordable online design software. Small business owners love Canva for its ease of use and thousands of template options. With Canva, you can easily create beautiful designs and documents in minutes without having to download bulky programs and without the learning curve. You can use Canva for basically anything you can use Photoshop for. With the exception of strong photo editing, you can design flyers, social media images, presentations, and logos with just a few clicks using Canva's drag and drop software. Canva offers templates for everything, and editing them as simple as updating with your brand's fonts and colors. Canva even has a brand kit section where you can add your logos and colors and they'll be saved to your account. Anytime you want to use them, they're right there with all the other editing tools. So there's two different options for Canva. There's Canva for Pro and Free Canva. Free Canva honestly has a lot of different things you can use um, without paying for anything, so I would highly suggest using Free Canva. Um, if you don't really have money to spend on software. In Canva Pro, however, has a lot more things you can use, um, so you might be willing to try that if you want to have all of the features. Canva Pro costs $12.95 per month, or you can subscribe for the yearly rate of $119.40. And I'm pretty sure that they also have an option where if you don't want to do the per month, if you just want to use a Pro Element, for example, once you download the document you're working on, they will just charge you for using that element. So now we're gonna talk about different ways that you can use Canva for your small business. So first we're gonna talk about uh, how to design a brand kit in Canva. So the first step to making Canva yours is to design your brand kit, and this will make future edits simpler. Rather than having to upload your logo each time, it'll be ready for you to use on every project. To do this on the main canva.com page, choose brand kit and upload your logos and then choose your color scheme. You can have several brands in one kit. And then you're going to upload your custom fonts or choose ones you'll frequently use. You can upload several of your own fonts and change them at any time. Like a logo, it's important to establish your brand fonts as you want anything you create on behalf of your business to be cohesive. If Canva doesn't already have fonts you love, you can find free fonts at a bunch of different font websites. One of the best things about Canva is their templates. Basically, you get these wonderful looking, for example, social media posts or posters, really whatever you wanna make, but it cuts the design time by at least 75% because instead of having to mess with Adobe InDesign, for example, and creating your own template, Canva just has so many that you can pick from. With the templates, any element that is clickable is able to be moved or edited, and you can replace stock photos with your own or with other stock photos. You can change the colors to anything you'd want to, and change the fonts to yours as well. And then you can add icons to make the image unique rather than looking like it came from a template, because the last thing you want is for your images to look like everyone else's. Once you've designed your social media images, you'll want to make sure you add your logo or watermark, and you can change the transparency or gradient if you're wanting to use your logo as an overlay. So now that we have gone through a couple of the basics of Canva, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create a social media post, for example, for your business. So here on the home screen, uh, you can see the search bar. And here I'm going to type in social media. Or actually, I'm going to type in Instagram just to make it pretty specific. So now I'm going to click on Instagram post and it's loading. So now as you can see, there are a ton, a ton, a ton of different template options. So I'm just going to go through and find one that I like once they all load. Um, so for example, let's say that we're having some kind of sale for my business. So I'm going to pick this one. So now as you can see, um, there are... There's different elements here. We have the text, we have this uh, square element, we have the background photo, and then I believe it looks like there's an overlay on top. 
and you can also see the Canva watermark in the background because I'm assuming since this isn't Canva Pro that I would have to pay for that image. So if I want to change the background, I can go to photos and as you can see here, there's a lot of different photos. Um, I'm going to choose the beach one and you can see that it says free in the bottom, which means that I'm not going to have to pay for it. So basically to make this my background, I'm just going to drag it and drop it and you can see it fill it up. So now that's my background. For the purposes of this, we're going to pretend that we have some kind of surf shop and we have some sale for a surf shop. So um, if I didn't like the font here, you just go up here and then as you can see there are a ton of fonts. So for the for this I'm going to go with this one, a special Easter sale, and then I'm going to say like surfboard sale. And then you can easily put um, any kind of describing thing. So for example, I'll put surfboards are 50% off now through, let's say, 4.23. And then I want to show you some of the different elements you can use. So if I click on elements, there are basically a ton of different things you can use. Um, they're not really loading, so I'm sure you can't see them. But so, for example, if I wanted to say surf, I could search it by that. And then a bunch of different options will come up about um, basically anything to do with surfing, surfboards, probably the ocean too. So yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of different surfboard options. So I think I would want to go with something like this. You can just drag it in. Right now it says dark color. You can easily change the color by going up to color. And then you can also see that it gives you photo color. So if you wanted something that really matched your photo, you can click any one of these to change an element. Um, for the purposes of this, so you can see it, I'm just going to go with white. You can rotate the image, basically anything you want to do. I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to move all of this up. Move this here. And then um, you can also do something, for example, as you saw, all of this kind of moved together. If you wanted to move these differently, all you have to do is right click and click ungroup. And so now all of these are their own object and can be moved separately. And a great thing to know with Canva is if you make a mistake, you can easily undo something like, for example, if I went like this, I could easily undo that by clicking Control Z and it'll put it right back to where it was before. Another cool thing to note about Canva is that um, on the uploads page here, you can basically, this is everything you've ever uploaded to Canva. So it won't just delete um, so basically, if you need to go back in and fix anything, you can find it all here. It's also really easy to add more pages if you're making a multi-page thing. And uh, once you're done with your design, you can click download. And then you can pick between a PNG, JPG, PDF, or PDF print, and MP4 video. There's also a SVG, but that is for pro members, as you can see by the little crown. And so basically, once um, you're ready, you just click download and it'll say preparing your design. And then your download will appear here and I can click this. And then basically, I can just save my design to my computer and then I'll be able to post it on Instagram or wherever I wanted to repost it to. And then recommended for you here basically just gives you a lot of different options based on things you've done in the past. and maybe some different templates that you would want to use. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching Empower Multimedia and I hope you check back soon. Remember, if you ever need help with starting or growing your business, click the link in the description for a free 15-minute consultation. Also remember, if you like the video, to like and subscribe.